we decided to break down the cross and the motions by Newton's three laws of physics. An object at rest stays at rest, and an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. This law relates to lacrosse in many different ways. For example, a ball on the field will not move until a force, or a player, comes and picks it up. It also relates in the way that a ball soaring through the air would stay in the air at the same speed and height if not for gravity or another player catching it. The acceleration of an object is dependent upon two variables, the net force acting upon the object and the mass of the object, and can be found by the formula net force equals mass times acceleration. Law 2 helps break down the cross because it tells us more about the speed and movement of a player throwing the ball. If a player is standing about 12 meters from the goal, and throws the ball at an average speed of about 70 miles per hour, the goalie will only have a little over a second to react and catch the ball. If the distance was increased or decreased, the reaction time for the goalie would be longer or shorter based off the distance. If the player increased or decreased the speed, the goalie would have a shorter or longer time based off their speed. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This law actually makes the cross harder and requires players to rotate their stick when catching the ball. If they do not, the ball would simply bounce out. In conclusion, lacrosse, like many other sports, has many components that can be related and explained by physics. 